What is up everybody, Jarrett from Empire of Assets here, and today we have the top seven sealed Pokemon card investments for um, right now, which is July 19th, 2021. We are about a little over a month away from Evolving Skies release, which I think is going to be an absolutely fantastic set. I was just looking at um, some estimated set lists, and there is like 27 different full art, alternate art, V, V Max cards. I think that is going to be an absolutely crazy set. And then after that, we have celebrations coming up. But I want to take a little uh, pause, take a little snapshot of the market right now. Um, the market has cooled down significantly, obviously. Sealed prices have come down a lot on some products. I definitely think there is some good stuff to be scooping up right now. If you do have some capital, um, I think a lot of people are waiting for these next couple sets. So I think it's probably an okay time to buy some sealed if you have some money. However, I don't see prices on a lot of these coming up um, for probably the next six months. Uh, so if you do have some time to buy some product, buckle in. Um, I think you could do really well with these products, uh, particularly the top uh, three products that I have on the list. But we have seven. And I did want to give an honorable mention. Um, so I guess we have eight. But the honorable mention is going to go to any of the um, products that contain the Zacian and Zamazenta black and gold um, sort of etched looking card. Um, I think that is a really neat card. I think those could do really well going forward. They don't seem to be. Um, originally they came out in the ultra premium collection and you got both of the cards in one box along with a I believe 12 booster uh, packs and you got a lot of stuff and they were pretty expensive. I believe they're right around $40 a piece or 40 for the pair, $20 a piece. Then they re-came out with those cards in the Zacian uh, Elite Trainer Box, which sells for $60 retail. And then the Zamazenta also has them. So they did get a reprint that has really suppressed the prices down. I believe you can pick up them for, pick them up for around 10 to $12 right now, which I think is pretty cheap. I think that's a good deal. Um, and that is why I wanted to give the honorable mention to those. Um, I think picking up those products, the most expensive Elite Trainer Box version ever made, um, I think those could do well. But let's jump into the list now. So at number seven, I have the uh, second most recent set that is going to be Battle Styles. Now this set is not the most uh, glamorous, crazy set, but it is the introduction of the Single Strike and Rapid Strike cards, um, which could do, um, which could make a difference going forward. But also this is mainly on the list because the prices are just so dang low. Um, I've been looking and you can pick up Elite Trainer boxes for like $32 that normally retail for $40. Um, so those are very cheap. Uh, any Pokemon product that you can buy below MSRP, I think, is a good deal. If you buy it long run, it can't really go down much further. Um, I could see these maybe hitting thirty dollars, so you're gonna lose two. But I would be absolutely shocked if it hit twenty-five. Um, and I don't think it's gonna go down at all. I think we're pretty close to the floor right now. So thirty-two dollars, um, and I do think it will climb just like everything else. Uh, no sealed Pokemon product has ever gone down in value after the first, I don't know, maybe three years has never gone back down, back down below MSRP anyway. Um, so I think that's a pretty safe bet, not a crazy set, but that is going to start us out at number seven, um, battle styles. Um, and I don't care if you're looking at the booster boxes, which are about $90, um, maybe find them a little cheaper than that, or the elite trainer box at about 32 bucks. Um, then for number six, we are gonna go way back in time to a set that I think is just a little undervalued. Uh, I'm not sure why this is, but we are talking about Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Boxes. Um, Sun and Moon base set this is. Uh, if you look up booster boxes, they're around $220. Again, that was usually around a 90 to $100 product. However, the Elite Trainer Boxes, which were $40 retail, are only selling for about $45, $46, um, which I think is interesting. Um, there is no promo card in this set, um, and there isn't a ton of really huge hitting cards in the set, but it is a base set. Um, those always seem to do well. Sun and Moon, obviously, I would say at this point, is probably pretty safe from a reprint, especially the base set. Um, so I do think that at $45 in Elite Trainer Box, these could do very well. Also, it has the Solgaleo and the Lunala or Luninalia, whatever the bat-looking creature um, on the boxes, which those are legendaries. They were the main uh, game mascots for Sun and Moon. So I think those will do well going forward. That is our product number six. Uh, going up the list to number five is going to be the most recent set, Chilling Rain. 
Um, there is quite a bit of value in some of these cards. You have the, um, the Shadow Rider cards. Uh, there's two of those and their alternate arts. You have the Legendary Bird Trio. You have their alternate art cards. There's quite a bit of value. You have the Blaziken VMAX alternate art card, which I believe is the most expensive in the set. So quite a bit of value there. And booster boxes are currently right around 120. Um, and then this product, I'm going to specifically probably recommend uh, booster boxes or elite trainer boxes. Actually, I'll leave it open because uh, elite trainer boxes, you can probably find an MSRP right around 40 bucks. Um, so I think either way you go on this one is probably a fine deal. Um, if you want to have a little more packs, and take up a little less storage, go for the booster box. Um, otherwise, I do um, have made a video in the past thing about why I think Elite Trainer Boxes have done better um, because they have a little better displayability and some stuff like that. Um, but either way, Chilling Rain, the newest set, very likely to get a reprint in the future, uh, but I do think it is worth probably picking up a few boxes if you can find them at close enough to retail because there is quite a few big money cards in there now after chilling rain we're going to go up to number four um, and if you're wondering why i keep looking down i do have these written down in a notebook so i'm not all over the place and i'm not going to take the time to memorize this list for the video and i don't want to do a bunch of editing because it's kind of late and i gotta work tomorrow so that's why i'm uh my eye my eye contact's not the greatest <laughs> But number four, we do have Vivid Voltage. And in this one, I am going to specifically recommend the Booster Box versus the Elite Trainer Box. And the reason for this is the Elite Trainer Box is currently right around $100, and the Booster Box is around $120, which is crazy because the Booster Box has 36 packs in it, $420. Um, that is, uh, I don't want to do the math quick, but it's like $4 a pack, right? something like that, a little less than $4 a pack. Um, and the Elite Trainer Box only has 10 packs, I believe, and it is selling for 100. This is because the Elite Trainer Boxes never got a reprint, um, while the Booster Boxes did get a reprint, but that Elite Trainer Box does not have any sort of special promo card in it like the Holiday Sets do. It only contains the sleeves, the dice, uh, I believe there's the, the damage counters, and that extra sort of fluffy fun stuff that comes in the late trainer box, but nothing that really adds a lot of value for me, which is I, which is why I am going to have my number four product be Vivid Voltage Booster Boxes. I think these are a huge value. You have a lot of the amazing rares in there. Um, you have the Pikachu VMAX, alter, or the not alternate, but the Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX. You have the regular Pikachu VMAX, uh, that, that Chonkachu VMAX Rainbow card is a very very hard pull but it is over a thousand dollars in a psa 10 and i believe over 300 in a raw card um, which is very good and i do see that card continue to rising in price because it is such a difficult pull um, and that is why vivid voltage booster boxes are our product number four that takes us to number three and number three is going to be our most recent holiday set which is shining fates if you remember to before release, this product was over $100 to pre-order. It was like $120 for a decent chunk of time until it came out. And it has been pretty much dropping ever since. Um, I do like the holiday sets because they contain those promo cards. And that promo card, as they increase in value, is a really nice way to kind of offset the cost of the box is how I look at it. Um, the better that one does, the better the rest of the box does. A good example of this is the uh, Shining Legends cards. Comes with the Shining Ho-Oh promo card. Um, during peak Pokey Craze, um, I haven't looked at these prices in a little bit, but that box was over $350. And a decent part of that was because the Shining Ho-Oh card itself was $40 to $50. Um, so you open that box and immediately you get 40 to 50 bucks back. Takes the box um, price down to only $300, which really helps. And over time, those promos are only gonna get more expensive and that is just going to help drive the price of the box even further up because it's a guaranteed pull out of the box, um, which is why I really like a lot of these holiday sets, and I really like the Elite Trainer boxes of the holiday sets. Obviously, they don't make booster boxes for a lot of them, so this is your only choice and your best value, um, but I do really like that promo card being in there. Um, so the Shining Fates promo card is the EV VMAX card. This card's value is 
pretty terrible. It's like $3. You can buy them pretty much as many as you want on eBay all day long. Uh, but the price of the box I have is low as $63. I just found one on eBay when I just looked them up quick. So that takes the price of the box down to 60. It's a holiday set, so I believe it retails at 50. So you're only about $10 off MSRP. I don't think they would reprint the Elite Trainer boxes. They might, but usually they like to avoid that because it is a lot of work, I'm sure, for them to organize the reprinting of the sleeves, the dice, the damage counters, the promo card. Uh, the Pokemon Company seems to really like printing booster box, reprinting booster boxes over Elite Trainer boxes. And for the holiday sets, they usually seem to not be um, too crazy about reprints. Hidden Fates did get a reprint that brought down the value a decent chunk. Uh, so it's not saying it couldn't happen, uh, but they definitely have um, a lot of other sets that were really popular around this time. And with COVID, printing was pretty short anyways. And in the long run, even if they get reprinted, the value is still going to continue up. I think it's a good buy at only $10 off MSRP. I think even if it went back down to retail, you're only losing 10 bucks um, on your $60 purchase, which is what, 16% or something, um, which isn't a crazy loss. And I think that is a good product to buy, and that is why it is number three. Um, and it is going to be, I would say, if you did have money, um, these top three are really where I would be most likely to stick it uh, because I think it is going to do the best. Uh, but that is just my advice. Um, it is not financial advice, just my opinion. This channel is purely for entertainment purposes. Uh, number two, um, you're going to see a pretty common theme here, but this is the Champion's Path um, boxes. Champion's Path boxes, you can buy an Elite Trainer box for about $100. And the reason I like these so much is there is the pink Charizard V promo. I got a couple around here, but I don't want to dig them out. Uh, you guys know what the card is. It's pink, it's Charizard, it says V on it. It's got a little promo star in the bottom. Um, and that card sells for about $12 still, which is pretty darn good. It's a Charizard. And the other thing I love about this box is you have two chances at two huge Charizard chase cards. Um, those have fallen in price a lot. You can pick up uh, either of them for around 200, 250 bucks. That is the shiny Charizard V, which is a really cool card. And the Charizard V Max Rainbow Rare card are both in this set. Um, I know, I think people were kind of disappointed or with the rest of the set. They said, um, if you don't hit one of those two cards, you're losing money, which I do think is really true. However, with this Elite Trainer box, you're getting the guaranteed $12 card. Out of the $100 box, it's going to take your price down to around $88, um, $85 if you got for $15, which is pretty good. And over time, those Charizards are just going to increase in value. And I don't think you need the whole set to be great. Just having those two cards in there is really going to pull the value up as the set ages. And I think it will be a very expensive set in the future, which is why the Champions Path Elite Trainer Boxes, uh, Elite Trainer Box was uh, on my number two on my list. As you can see, I do have four back here. Uh, I did have six when they came out. I'm not sure if I sold two of them, I'd have to check. Otherwise, they might be in my um, storage. But I do have at least four right there, um, which was a pretty good return because I did get those at MSRP off Amazon for, I believe, 50 bucks a piece. So nice double my money in not too long there. And drum roll here for the final product. Um, it is going to consi be consistent with my theme of holiday sets, and that is Hidden Fates. I have been really big on Hidden Fates since I started this channel um, back in February. I um, am just a big fan of it, and I think it's going to do really well going forward. An Elite Trainer Box is only $135. It does come with the Stained Glass Legendary Birds Trio card. It sells for about $15. So it's going to take the price of the box down to $120. However, I do think this product is slowly creeping its way towards being out of reprint. I think as soon as that happens, it could very easily achieve prices similar to Shining Legends because it does have that um, Shining Vault subset of, I believe, 94 different shiny cards in it. Um, there's a ton of cards with big value in here. Um, so I do think that it is a good buy at $120 or $135 a piece, um, a real price of $120 if you take the Stained Glass Birds Trio out of there. 
and I think it's still within reach for most people, um, unlike suggesting a Shining Legends, which I believe is still over $300. Um, this one is still in reach of most people. I think it is a great product to buy and sit on for the next probably three to five years. I think you could pretty easily double or triple your money in that time uh, because I think once it is safely out of reprint, it is just going to explode in value. I might be looking to pick up a couple more of these. Um, however, there is a lot of the Elite Trainer Boxes that I don't have and I'm trying to collect one of each Elite Trainer Box. So we'll see if I do get to picking these up. Also, I, like most people, am excited about the Evolving Sky set and the um, Celebration set. So like I said, I do think you have a decent chunk of time to pick up any of these seven products on the list over the next six to 12 months. Um, it's a good time to start slowly building a position, uh, but I do think you should be maybe buying now if you have enough extra funds, because I do think eventually some of these boxes will spike up in price and they will never get as low as they are right now with the whole market being so suppressed. So that is my top seven sealed Pokemon card investments. Um, I was just looking mainly at Elite Trainer Boxes and Booster Boxes and more modern stuff. Um, obviously, you could always say you should go out and buy some unlimited base set booster boxes, but most people can't afford that. And um, I don't know, it seems pretty, uh, it's probably not quite as high risk now, uh, but it definitely was high risk during all the hype. And I just think it's out of reach for most people, which is why I like covering more modern products. Also, once this modern stuff is out of print and people feel safe that it's out of the chance of being reprinted, they do see a really nice spike in value right away, um, kind of like when a sports player gets inducted into the Hall of Fame. So um, drop a comment down below if you agree or disagree um, with my any of my picks, particularly the top three, if you think there's something else that should have been in there, I would love to discuss in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you stuck around to the end, I really appreciate it. Subscribe and like the video. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one.